way to Tennessee. We're leaving Georgia. Yep, can't wait to get there. Got some friends and family to spend time with. Got the mountains and the rivers to see. What are you planning on doing, Jimmy? Well, I'm on a mission. I got some work to do on a deck for Aunt Betty, and I just can't wait to be around some loved ones. Yep, enjoy being with family and friends. Chattanooga is uh, where I grew up, so it's very exciting seeing Welcome to Tennessee. And um, we're on our way to Harrison Bay State Park, which is very near where I went to school. First thing you go by is my junior high school, and uh, that is where my mama worked too. We lived within walking distance of the school, and right next door is the uh, high school I attended. Central High School. And uh, now uh, we're going to go see Harrison Bay State Park. Yeah, that's what we planned on parking our vehicle. It's uh, been by it many times, and I've heard about it from my wife. She's camped there many times in her younger life. And uh, it's, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the things that she says are so great about it. Yeah. I remember when I brought uh, Dina and James and Anthony right here, uh, right by the water. We stopped and took pictures. They were little. Uh, it was for October to see the leaves change. Uh, Kelly and I took a trip with the three little ones. We were brave. But we had a good time. And uh, Harrison Bay State Park is the place where uh, I camped with my mom. Uh, my brother and I did. I camped uh, by myself or I camped with friends as a teenager and a young adult and uh, also brought my kids here. Uh, this little uh, area right here where you see the grass and you see kind of a little bit of a fence. That's where I taught Nicholas how to play baseball when he was just a little tot. Well, this, this area here is Area A. It's got some great spots and it's basically all asphalt, all level, and uh, it's right brings you right down to the water's edge uh, here's our little camper parked up on the left hand side here coming up and uh, as you can see there it is right there yeah and you can walk down to the water uh, from there and, and it's just beautiful just beautiful seeing the sunsets we always enjoy seeing the sunsets don't we hon you sure do uh, we always try to get down near the water wherever we're camping. It's a beautiful lake, and uh, what is it that you told me about it? It's a uh, man-made lake. It was used to be farmland. It was filled in, and a dam built to produce electricity. Very good. Now we are on our way to see Aunt Betty. Jimmy loves to drive on uh, Tennessee roads, don't you, hon? No. <laughs> well, I love being up here in Tennessee, but the roads have a lot to be desired. You know, they don't mark the center of the roads, and you could fall off the edge like a cliff. <laughs> and, you know, it probably has to do with me being a flatlander. It does. I, I know when I, I, this is where I learned how to drive, and I never thought anything about these roads <laughs> until I moved to Florida. You get used to you know, as a flatlander, you kind of get used to everything being a little easier, and then... Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Even it would be nice if the, the lines in the middle of the road kind of glowed when it rains, <laughs> so you can see if you're on the wrong side or not. Oh, well, on our way to Aunt Betty's, and uh, looking forward to spending time with her and uh, with Deborah, my cousin Deborah. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. It probably will be, but oh, <laughs> we should be coming on Aunt Betty's house pretty soon. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Yay. Now, I wanted you to talk a little bit about your book. Oh, yes, my book is called The Best of Betty. It really made up of all the years and the talks that I've made to women's groups for 35 or 40 years. Uh, just silly stuff. I don't solve any of the world's problems, but I just tell funny things that have happened to me and members of my family. I told my mama that you had some parts about her too. Oh dear, <laughs> is she worried? She seemed a little concerned. 
<laughs> you might have to seek a lawyer. Tell her for a price I can be bought. <laughs> So my Aunt Betty and my cousin Deborah took me to the Golden Agers Luncheon, and we had a good time there. Uh, Deborah was the announcer, giving out prizes, and uh, we had a great lunch together, and then a bingo game. And I enjoyed being around these folks from Temple Baptist Church. A lot of them know my uh, mom, and uh, just enjoyed spending time with Aunt Betty and my cousin Deborah. We had a great time, and there was this little boy he was eating the uh, bingo, uh, what do you call those, the little things you do? Number markers. Yeah, number markers, because they use cereal. And <laughs> he was eating his grandma's uh, bingo cereal, I guess you'd call it. Looks like they all had a good time. It's so good to have everybody here. Uh, this is the lady who's going around taking the pictures. Is my special guest today, my niece Donella. She's Kay's daughter, for those of you that know Kay. And... Uh, Donnell and I have a little secret. We have bonded and we love each other so much, and I've told her for years, she's just on loan to Kay. She really belongs to me. She thinks I'm perfect, that I can do no wrong, and I'm never going to tell her any different. She's president of my fan club. That's right. Donnell and Gallo, she and her husband, have, he has just retired, and they did what everybody dreams about. They sold their home, they got a campus, and they just did and they're having a great time, and we're so glad. Deborah and Aunt Betty took uh, Donnell and I to Ringgold, Georgia, to see the memorial flags and crosses set up along the roadways. Each flag and each cross represents a person who's died serving in the armed services for the United States, wherever they were across the world. Uh, they had the, the name and the date, and... Uh, what year they died in on each cross it was amazing to see just how many people from that area served for us tell us about your deck situation my deck oh you want to talk miracle uh we have a beautiful absolutely gorgeous deck thanks to my nephew jimmy gallo who has come and given two weeks of his life and many gallons of sweat to fix our deck and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. Did you enjoy uh, working on Aunt Betty's deck? Yeah, I had to stop by the Ace, uh, local Ace Hardware and pick up some few items just to get started. Yep, and then uh, Home Depot to pick up the lumber and off you went. You were busy as a bee. How long did it take you? Well, let's see, I think about 10 days overall, about five to six hours a day. It was a, uh, it was an endeavor, but it's something I wanted to do for a oh, long time. I'm glad that you did. I mean, I was really amazed at uh, you just, you know, trying to put the pieces together of something that somebody else had already started. And uh, but you did, you did a great job. It was, it was uh, something to watch every day. Every time we looked out the window or sat outside, it was like, wow. We better not show this too much because somebody will try to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very expensive these days. <laughs> Jimmy Gallo does not come cheap. Yes. <laughs> but what I loved the most was um, when you uh, made dinner and we got to enjoy the, the, you know, the first time out on the deck. That was fun. It was it was a beautiful evening. It was nice. And, uh, and uh, I think this is the first time in a long time they got to enjoy their deck the way yeah. they were supposed to be. Yep, I agree. Then off to Chattanooga we went one day, and um, it was uh, there was a lot of traffic and mostly foot traffic. <laughs> and uh, there was both traffic. Yeah, both. Chattanooga was busy downtown was for busy. Sunday. We didn't expect it, but it's a busy place. Yeah, we didn't get to go eat where we wanted, but we decided to go to the other end of town, and we loved where we ended up. It was at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. I think it was called the stir the somebody stir. took uh, a corner of it and turned it into an establishment that's doing well and uh it's a seems like a great place to go and just enjoy yourself and have fun it, it was pretty neat to see and the food was great yeah they even had a little jazz band playing in the background <laughs> yeah. there that's a new thing around here it's a 
you know, like uh, for uh, coffee clubs and places like that, is jazz bands and or soul. Yeah, it was fun. And afterwards, we just took a, a car ride around the city, uh, enjoying the view, going over the river, and uh, the marathoners were still uh, running on, on the uh, Walnut Street Bridge. So some of the roads were closed, but uh, we meandered around, didn't we? And, and uh, were able to just uh, enjoy the scenery around. It was It's a pretty place to see Chattanooga. Is, it's pretty, it's got beautiful mountains that it surrounds. It's in the valley and it makes for a great car ride. Is that the Tennessee River? That is the Tennessee River. I think I've been to some concerts down by the riverfront there. Oh yeah, they have a lot of concerts down there. And then uh, we finished up with our evening in the uh, campground. We saw eight deer, I believe. Yeah, all those, pretty good size. Oh yeah, they were beautiful. They were. They were eating that uh, sweet grass next to the edge of the road there. And they didn't mind the cars going by. They just sat there and did what they wanted to do. Yeah, we saw quite a few deer while we were there. It's It really is a beautiful park. And they have campgrounds that are right on the water. Um, and just, um, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful area. You see the ridge across there? The house is up on the ridge across the water there. Yeah. It is beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot to see, uh, and it's amazing all the people that are fishing and, um, you know, doing all the water skiing and the... Uh, They're out there boating every day. Weekends yeah. are phenomenal. It's uh, There's boats everywhere. Uh, it's, it's just amazing to see that many people get out and enjoy their weekends on the water there. Yeah, I agree. And I also enjoyed uh, spending time with uh, friends that I hadn't seen in a while. We uh, made some lunch dates, and I got to spend time with uh, Wendy and Pam, and uh, then my good friend uh, Robin. Uh, I nicknamed her Chump a long time ago, and then uh, my uh, teacher, my gym teacher in junior high, Carol. We had a great time. Can you think of a question, Deborah? I can ask your mom. Think about something. Let's see. Who is her favorite child? Yes, there you go. Who's the golden child? The golden child is made up of five parts. There is Donella, Donnie, Deborah, David, and Michael. Ooh, she, she, she. I've always said my heart is divided into five sections. I love them all. You did good, Aunt Betty. Yes. <laughs> That's my greater, greatest blessings mm. are my five babies. If you like our video, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. And right, make sure you, okay. If you, you like, like our, our video, video give, give us, us a thumbs up. up and subscribe. <laughs> That's right. Subscribe. Hit the button below. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> make sure that you hit the little bell and that will notify you when we've made another video. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>